recall what are these uh, structures. Um, number one. What is number one, this part? What is this? The right atrium. Is this the right part? Sure? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. So that is the right atrium. So if this is the right atrium, then this side will be the... This will left be the... Atrium. Left atrium. Yes, this will be the left atrium. Okay, and then number three here. So if this is right atrium, this will be the right... Ventricle. Very good. Okay, it is the right ventricle and this side will be the... Left, left ventricle. ventricle. Yes, okay, the left ventricle. All right, and then number five, what is this? These vessels that going in, blood going in, oxygenated blood going in here. That will be the... What do you think it is? Look at that. Pulmonary. What is this? Pulmonary veins. Huh? Yes, that is the pulmonary veins. So you have here uh, pulmonary veins that the that carries oxygenated blood into the uh, heart. Okay, into the right, uh, sorry, left atrium. Okay, pulmonary vein. Now, number nine, sorry, number seven here. This one that carries blood out, deoxygenated blood out, this will be the pulmonary, pulmonary artery. artery. Pulmonary artery, correct. Huh? Pulmonary artery. And what about this structure here? Number eight. Aorta. The aorta. Yes, that will be the aorta. And this one? Vena cava. That will be the vena cava. But you know that if the vena cava, they point up, that is the superior vena cava. From down, we have the inferior vena cava. Okay. Right ventricle muscles are thinner than the left part. So now, why is the left ventricle have a thicker wall than the right ventricle? Why do you think that the left ventricle has a thicker wall than the right ventricle? It's because at the left ventricle, like the pressure is high, right? So you can have to pump to the right. Yes. Okay, that is correct. Huh? And then in between the right ventricle and also the left ventricle, we have the septum. Can anyone tell me why we need this septum in between the right and the left ventricle? So that the oxygenated so, and deoxygenated blood didn't coagulate. Coagulate. That means it does not mix up. Mix up. Very good. Okay. So septum um, uh, allows, okay, or does not allow, uh, does not allow the mixing of oxygenated and deoxygenated. But what if the septum has a hole? In it. What happened? What do you think will happen happen if the septum has a hole in it? Uh, oxygenated and deoxygenated blood would be mixing. Okay, and when the blood mix, what will happen to the person? Maybe difficulties in breathing out or breathing in. Okay, difficulties in breathing. Any other answers? The oxygen supply to the body is not um, a sufficient feature because it's like mixing up already. Yes, huh? so correct. So the okay, now let's have a brain twister here. Okay, let's have uh, someone, anyone to answer. Now, the size of heart that sends oxygen deprived blood to the lungs. What is it? Right. Sorry? The right side. The right side? So it is the right side. Okay, the right side that sends oxygen deprived. Oxygen deprived, that means lack of oxygen. It means deoxygenated blood huh? sent to the lungs. Okay, so question number two. The term for the lung circuit. We have two, two circuit there. Okay, what are the circuit? What is the lung circuit? We call it as what? Pulmonary circulation. Yes, correct. Huh? So that is pulmonary circulation. Well done. Okay, another one. How many chambers are in the heart? This is very easy. Quickly, come on. Four. 
Yes, four chambers. Okay, what are the chambers? Right atrium, left atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle. Very good. Okay, so we have two atriums and also two ventricles. Okay, now what do the heart valves do? They open and close like a door to allow the blood to flow from atrium to the ventricle and into the muscle. Okay, so it allows blood to flow in the heart. In the heart. Other answers? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I think it's to prevent the blood from, uh, from flowing again. It's like flowing in one way only. Yes. Okay. Correct. Huh? So both answers are correct. So it prevents backflow. That means it, it actually helps the blood flow in one direction. From, I think this is the last one. I am the entry chamber, lightly muscled. Who am I? Which chamber is this? The Chamber of Secrets. Teacher, I think right atrium. Right atrium? Yes, the atrium. Huh? So it can be, uh, but they are lightly muscled. So this is the right atrium, correct? Huh? I forgot to put the right there. Okay. And... Done. Okay. So we are done. So you have to do formative practice 10.2. Uh, but I want to discuss you because we have questions here. Okay, so let's discuss, okay, uh, before we end the class. Now, what is the function of bicuspid valve? So we have this now tricuspid, we have bicuspid. So what is the function for bicuspid valve? Can we have uh, Davarasi? Is Davarasi here? Yes, teacher. Okay, Davarasi, what is the function of the bicuspid valve? Allow blood to flow from the left ventricle to the artery and prevents blood flow from flowing backward. From, sorry, uh, function of bicuspid is to allow blood flow from, from left atrium to? Uh, left ventricle. Left ventricle, huh? okay, and prevent? And prevent blood flowing backwards. Yes. Uh, number two. Now explain why some individuals feel nauseous and faint immediately after donating blood. And why do some blood donors need to take iron pills? Now why? Why do you think that this happens? Anyone? Can I have a try? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, iron deficiency. Iron deficiency uh, after blood donation? Uh, yes. Okay. So you take iron the, uh, pills because of uh, iron deficiency. Uh, any other answers? Uh, did you get a try? Yes, yeah, sure. Um, I think we feel nauseous because of the drop in blood pressure, uh, blood pressure and then we need iron so that we can make blood cells, uh, blood cells, new blood cells, replacing the ones that lost. Okay, very good. Okay, so it's correct. Huh? So we know that uh, after donating blood, okay, there will be reduction in the blood, especially in the brain. Okay, that will cause a person to feel uh, nausea and then it faints. So correct. Huh? So both Okay, now. Number three, state two differences between the structure of uh, erythrocyte and also leukocyte. So this can be anything, any of the differences. Red. The differences of erythrocyte is have biconcave shape mm -hmm. and does not have nucleus, but mm -hmm. leukocyte have nucleus and does not have shape. Okay, does not have a, a regular shape. Huh? So it has irregular shape. All right, so that is correct. Any other answers? Erythrocytes have hemoglobin, while leukocytes doesn't have hemoglobin. Okay, very good. Okay, so that is uh, the differences huh, between the structure of erythrocyte and also uh, leukocytes. So now, this one explained why the left ventricle has a thicker muscular wall than the... Uh, sorry. 
why the left ventricle has a thicker muscular wall than the right ventricle. So this one we have discussed just now. So let's see if you remember. Let me. Yes, teacher. Yes, I why think does. Left, I hmm. think the left ventricle has a thicker muscular wall because it has higher pressure than the right ventricle. Okay, very good. Okay, well done. 